spring has officially sprung and we're all looking ahead to brighter, warmer days. And that may also have you craving some fresh food ideas. Registered dietitian Michelle Jalen is here with some healthy and delicious dishes. Uh, Michelle, great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to see you, Alex. Thank you for having me. So, you know, when I think of spring, uh, I always think of salads. And the first recipe that you have for us is one that we can actually prepare in advance. Yes. So my first recipe is a savory corn salad, and it just uses four main ingredients. So we have some fresh sweet corn, some cucumber, peppers, and tomatoes. And what I do with those is I chop them up, mix them up in a nice bowl, and I'm gonna add my seasoning. So my seasonings are gonna be some fresh lime juice, some fresh dill, and salt and pepper. Now, because this is a salad that doesn't have any like leafy greens in it, it actually is a great make ahead one. So you can meal prep it and eat it throughout the week. You can pair it up with a nice protein like fish and chicken, as well as a healthy carb like quinoa or barley. And then you have a nice complete meal. And the next recipe you have for us, um, I believe it is a sweet and tangy salad and uh, we can easily find, you know, these ingredients at uh, our local grocery stores as well. Yes, that's right. So this next recipe is kind of like a contrast to the first one, which is what makes it fun. So it's got Florida watermelon and blueberries. I love watermelon because it's high in lycopene, which is great for our skin health. And I love blueberries because it's high in anthocyanins, which is great for our mind and our mood health. So I have those two ingredients that I've chopped up ready to go. And then I'm also gonna add some nice chopped pecans as well as goat cheese. Now goat cheese is what adds that nice tangy flavor. And then once I mix everything up, I'm gonna make a very simple dressing with some heart healthy canola oil. It's high in plant-based omega-3 fats. It's got vitamin E as well as healthy fats that help your body to absorb the fat soluble nutrients. And I'm pairing that up with some balsamic vinegar, with some salt and pepper, and then I'm just gonna put that on top and it's ready to go right away. Now, the nice thing about produce is what, it's very healthy for us, but when we can't find local produce, we wanna get produce from regions with some of the highest farming practices in the world. So in Florida, there are 47,000 farmers in Florida. They follow safe and strict farming protocols. They produce an abundance of delicious, nutritious, produce for you and your family. So all of the recipes I'm demoing today use Florida produce and you can find more tasty ideas at followfreshfromflorida.com. And finally, Michelle, uh, this is one thing that I want to say that I try to do or I want to do, um, you know, every time, you know, spring rolls around is making your own salad dressing. And maybe it's because I think it's a lot harder than it actually is. It is actually so much easier than what most people think, Alex. I'm so excited to share with you. So whenever you make a salad dressing, you always start off with an oil. So uh, all salad dressings have oil. I use two parts canola oil because it's a nice neutral flavor. And then I'm gonna add one part of an acid. So an acid can be a vinegar, it can be a citrus, so like a lime juice or a lemon juice. And then I'm gonna add one part emulsifier. Now the emulsifier is something that just helps the oil and the acid mix together. So really good ones are grainy mustard or just regular mustard, as well as honey. They all make great ones. So, and then you can just add whatever spices and herbs you want. They can be fresh, they can be dried, whatever you like. And then you're gonna put them together in a mason jar, shake it up, and there you have your delicious salad dressing. Now, it's gonna look like this right here. Now, all I did was put it all together, mix it up together, and then you have it good to go. Now you wanna make sure that you use it within three to five days, cause that's how well it lasts. But I find when you make your own dressing, you're more likely to go for more salad. And it's great cause you know exactly what you put in it. So it's different from the store-bought ones. You have a nice healthy salad dressing, good to go. Wonderful, some uh, great delicious uh, recipes and tips that uh, yeah, everyone can try at home this spring. Michelle, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Alex.